Hey everyone, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to look at um, some uh, modeling. Okay, so we have this wheel here, and we're not actually making this wheel. We're going to make another component um, that uh, is similar to this, and we want to talk about some of the steps as far as how we're going to accomplish this. So I've loaded the image up in the background and I can use I on my keyboard to toggle the showing of it on and off. And we're going to come in here and we're going to draw one of these profiles here. So, you know, in this case I'm going to use splines is what I'm going to use and I'm going to use spline fit and uh, I'm going to kind of trace along and, and make this shape here. I'm going to uh, trace along and make this shape here. This one I'm just gonna uh, sketch a line along there. Uh, from here I'm just gonna uh, join these two lines together. Uh, let me move this corner a little bit, so I'll drag corner, bring that down to about there, and then I'll use deform to add like a, a bend to this. Okay, so let me trim up some of these sections here, and uh, okay, that's a, that's a good start. So from here I'm going to join a line between here and here and here. And that gives me my basic uh, basic shape. Okay, so now from here, what I'm going to do is extrude this. So I'm going to extrude it. This is going to I'll just have it go down one inch in Z, and that's fine. And that gives me my uh, one little one little piece here. Now, if we bring the uh, if we bring the image back up, you can see that there's these cutaways here, okay? So what we want to do is we want to create some cutaways from the shape, and there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this, but in this case, I'm going to use swept surfaces, okay? So let's, um, you know, what we need to do is, in, when you have a sweep, you have you know, a profile that you're going to sweep and then you have a path that's going to follow it. So what I want to do is I want to create the, the path that I want to have follow this, okay? So in this case, I'm going to use splines again, and I'm just going to kind of, um, you know, kind of sketch a, uh, a profile that would represent kind of the, the center path that that um, spline would follow. Hold on, let me let me move this onto this other layer here. Okay, so this represents the center path that the spline is going to follow. Actually, I may want to move it. Um, I may want to move it a little bit over like this. Okay, so that's that one there. This one over here, I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to create a spline. It's going to start out over here. It's going to come up through there. And then uh, I'll do another one here. And it's going to come out through there. All right. And let's deform this a little bit. And again, this represents kind of the the center path. This represents the center path. Let me um, drag this corner over here. I want to move it a little more a little more over to that section there and that looks pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to create um, the shape or what I'm going to use. So in this case I'm going to end up using like a ball mill. Um, so I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm just going to sketch a uh, radius. I'll just put one up here. Okay, so I'm going to sweep this profile with that radius. So let me save my file. Uh, that's fine. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and create our, our swept surface. So create a new layer, make it active. All right, we're going to do surface sweep. 
shift left click grab the center point shift left click for the profile shift left click for the profile that we want to sweep and that gives us our radius now we're going to do this again shift left click for the center shift left click for the profile shift left click for the profile and that gives us our other one right there now I need to cap off the ends of these so we'll do surface planar and I'll grab that edge spacebar 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 okay now I'm gonna um, I guess I could add them together but I'll go ahead and stitch them stitch to solid window pick those spacebar window pick these spacebar okay so now I can bring this other model back up and um, kind of kind of see where I'm at here I, th I think I uh, miss my centerline path here a little bit um, this one over here looks like it's okay so let's try cutting that one away we're gonna subtract keep this shape subtract that one and that gives us that cut out there and that looks pretty good this one here I think I need to I would either need to use a bigger radius or I need to change my path in this case I'm gonna change my path so I'm going to um, drag corner so I'm going to drag this corner out a little bit and then I'm going to deform and uh, utilities deform and I'm going to grab this spline just kind of move it in on this path a little bit more now deform is one of the ways you can modify a spline another way is you can select it right click entity modify and these will bring up all your control points and this is another way that you can go in there and uh, mess things up apparently. <laughs> um, another way you can go in there and modify uh, the spline is by using these control points. Um, it looks like they're snapping uh, to endpoints, so I'll just undo that. But that's an another way that you can do it. Okay, so now in this case, I've updated my um, profile, right? So now I need to update my uh, sweep profile. So let me reselect all right so that's updated that profile now you can see that you know it uh, instead of it cutting off half of it and I mean you can be I'm, I'm just using splines here but this is just a quick way to go about this let's go ahead and subtract so we'll keep this shape subtract that one and that gives us that that cutout edge that we were looking for. Now, in my opinion, based off of this, um, let's go to a top view. Based off this model here, I mean, maybe these are flat, but I, I would think that this would be on some kind of angled surface here. We also have some additional cutouts as well. And sometimes when you're making these parts, you really have to make a decision on, you know, how much time you want to take cutting it if it takes too much time the part becomes too expensive margins go out so you know kind of keeping it 2d makes a lot of sense uh, so that uh, when you machine it you can keep the you can keep the prices down quite a bit okay so we have this one object here and really from here what we would end up doing is creating copies of it you know so we'll draw a, a circle on center so we'll pick about what the center is going to be and create, you know, our circle. You know, from there we can um, create copies. So we're going to do rotate, you know, 360 divided by 8. We're going to make seven copies. We'll go ahead and select our model there. And then we're going to snap to the center of our uh, circle and choose OK. You know, and now you can see that we're getting, uh, we're beginning to build, uh, you know, a much more complicated model and really would just use some swept surfaces to do this. Now for the hub in the center, you know, and some of the outside shapes, you know, we're going to continue to uh, build up from there. So, you know, as an example, I can do surface extrude, you know, I'll do an extrusion from here and, um, you know, I, uh, we'll, we'll just make it a half inch for now. It's fine. I'll choose OK. So that kind of gives me that plane. Uh, from there, I can move that plane down. So this one, we're going to say minus some value. 
so that gives us um, you know kind of the the bottom bottom area of that hub and uh, we can continue to you know we could throw the wall up in there and continue to to work on building these shapes together you know maybe um, in the center here we'll do a cone so let's go ahead and move the center of this cone to the center of our circle there we can change the base of the cone and move it out um, we can move the cone down NZ you know kinda just kinda start working on our shape here I'll push this one out a little bit more pull it up a little bit you know and that kind of gives us this cone shape in the center again that's just an example and, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I I created these one solids here so now you know I may add them together so I could say solids add add this to this you know and that gives me one shape and then now add this to all of these because a lot of times the question becomes you know do you create surfaces do you create solids um, you know, and, and again, you can use a combination of them, but this is just a quick example of how to do, you know, a combination of surfaces and solids to get, uh, you know, a pretty decent result. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys.